hit that button, turn it from day to night on that screen. You can see, I can also bring it down on the smaller display. It certainly looks good. It's not HD resolution. As far as but, I can tell. But down here, down on the screen. It's I, I'm not I'm not ready to confirm that. It, it, it's very possible. It's it's really tough to say. If it's it could be like some sort of a some sort of like in between, you know, 480 and 720 is what it is what it almost looks like. But it's actually an extraordinarily sharp screen, uh, ultra high uh, pixel, pixel. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, has a very high DPI. Um, probably probably somewhere above the original PSP and definitely below the iPhone 4. Um, it has more spiders than I expected. Yeah, there's definitely one big spider there, and that's uh, that's more spiders than I would typically expect in, in any given tech demo, honestly. From a Nintendo console, they're just so fancy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, you know, we have a lot of uh, you know, Mii's and and ghost pirates and you know, sort of fantastical things, but spiders. Uh, spiders are generally reserved for a more mature audience, sure. so it's certainly it's certainly nice to see that uh, Nintendo is finally catering to the uh, to the hardcore gamer. Arachnophobe, right? And and, and the arachnophobe. What are we talking? Give me give me some night nightfall. Nightfall. And we have and we have okay. So there's nightfall on the uh, television. Bring back the lights. But it's not so scary anymore. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think really what this game is trying to tell you is that all you have to do to make spiders uh, angry is turn on the lights, because then they realize that their petrifying fear, um, or your petrifying fear of them, sort of uh, just kind of escapes. What do so you? Uh, as you can see the touch screen is really responsive. I'm turning from day to night very rapidly, getting a little spider disco going. Yeah, I mean, it's very good. It's good to have a spider disco in a game. And again, uh, it's something that you don't see in all tech demos. But uh, And it's certainly not expected uh, from Nintendo, but it's nice to see a spider disco make it into uh, this sort of final product. Built-in speakers to okay. the volume slider. Well, I, that doesn't necessarily mean that there are speakers. Uh, there is here. Just hold the hardware up. Jack. There's a headphone jack. Here's a stylus. Let's pull this out. It is not a telescoping stylus like the 3DS. This is uh, this is uh, not final hardware. This is uh, dev hardware so that they can display the screen on the back. But it is relatively thin. Um, uh, again, that's that's uh, a camera. No, there is no rear facing camera. Well, no, that's that might not. This might not be the final hardware. It's true, but I don't yeah. think they mentioned a rear facing camera. Uh, yeah, there might not be. These look like speakers, though. Right there. Josh, how do the sliders feel for you? These. I don't know if I'm in love with them for a shooter. I did not get a chance to play Ghost Recon. It was demoed for me. They feel like they have a lot more movement than the 3DS sliders. They, uh, they certainly have a broader range. Yeah. They also feel a little floaty. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think that they are actually better than I expected after I saw that there were sliders on uh, during the, the press conference. Uh, I was a little bit worried because, you know, analog sticks are, in all cases, generally better. Uh, but, no, I mean, I, I think it's a pretty solid piece of hardware, and at least visually speaking, it is absolutely uh, just engrossing and super impressive. Definitely, I would say I'm impressed in terms of the graphics. And that's going to wrap it up. All right, thanks.